Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ayuni here. It's been a while since I post any vlog, right? I have been so busy with my tones of assignments. Since this is my final semester, I need to work harder to make sure that I will pass this semester with flying colors. Today, on this fine day, this video is very special because I will share about my group assignment case study. The content of this video is about group case study video presentation for the subject of MGT 345, which is Operations Management. This video is absolutely for our beautiful and kind-hearted lecturer, Dr. Mariam. All of us are going to talk about Chapter 2, which is Product Design. Product design can be defined as a systematic process that involves idea or concept generation, concept development and evaluation, manufacturing and testing or implementing of an artifact or service. The objective of product design is to create, develop and implement a product strategy that meets the demands of the marketplace with a competitive advantage. In this case study, we are going to talk about Samsung, the world's most well-known electronic brand. I believe that once I said Samsung, the main thing that pop up in everyone's mind is smartphone. Am I right? So basically, Samsung is the world's leader in electronic consumer goods. It also specializes in the production and marketing of a wide range of consumer electrical items. Why am I saying this? This is due to the fact that the Samsung brand is a well-known throughout the world and has a high level of brand awareness. Furthermore, Samsung has consistently collaborated with famous and influential people such as with the most popular Korean pop idol which is BTS. This collaboration has been good impact to Samsung because BTS fans will always support their idol in their own way. They surely will buy them a Samsung once they saw BTS using Samsung. Samsung has a comprehensive research and development division which has helped the company become one of the most inventive businesses in the world. That is all the summarization of Samsung. I will continue to the first question of this case study. In the era of globalization, we are all coming closer to the mobile phones that allow two-way conversations in this ever-changing world of mobile phones. First and foremost, we shall examine the core aspect that Samsung wants to achieve through its innovation. In our perspective, the essential feature of Samsung's innovation in the early years was enhancing the desire to extend mobile capabilities, which led to innovative solutions. Samsung's goal in the term of innovation is to use its people resources and technology to develop greater goods and services, ultimately contributing to a better global community. Samsung's inventions are all linked to a daring vision of connecting live devices, networking and intelligence which bring the uniqueness to the company. Furthermore, Samsung's innovation is to create and market a diverse range of device varieties and goods that will appeal to a broad range of consumers by including more trendy design advances appropriate for various generations. Samsung has remained committed to provide their user with the greatest mobile experience and it will continue to actively listen and consider users' feedback while developing new products. The company shifted its focus to smartphones, abandoning the lower margin feature phones that other manufacturers such as Nokia rely on to keep their business afloat. Samsung might see the market moving in this direction. Apart from that, Samsung has been focusing on market share rather than profit margins. Samsung 
may use this fundamental notion to implement marketing strategies such as reduce price and produce many products. This company works swiftly and creates a wide range of devices. It observes how the market reacts, promotes successes and eliminates failure. Larger displays, different features, aggressive marketing, and offering what customers want to help, help it stand out. The note is a great illustration of this. According to the market research, Asian language users in particular desired a device on which they could handwrite characters since drawing characters with a pen is easier. The outcome was an unanticipated hit in the form of a phone or tablet hybrid. That is all elaboration for question number one. For question number two, my group members who named Charles Liana will continue this presentation. Product design is the process of creating a product by meeting the needs of the customer at the same time be able to achieve the company's target. From that, it will help the brand create a consistently successful products. Our opinion, the competitive advantage that Samsung has when they have their own originality and uniqueness of product. This is because this philosophy can be seen in all Samsung's products consistently. They do not just produce the product only focus about the design, but it's more to make a consumer a more natural way to use their products. In fact, Samsung has their own popularity and have competitive advantage in the design of folding and flip smartphone. This Samsung design is a smart design that carried a concept of more screen and less space by Samsung, such as Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, and Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. As we can see, the major competitor of Samsung is Apple. They have not yet invested in the segment of this fleet and Ford idea. So from that, these features are so smart and innovative because foldable phones offer a modified and optimized version of Android to take full advantage of capabilities of this dual screen. For example, you can open a YouTube video while scrolling a Twitter at the same time. So it shows that design enough to gain in productivity which makes the affordable smartphone an interesting choice for any professionalist. It is because when folded, for example on the Galaxy Z Flip 3, the time and notification are displayed on the front of small external screen. So it is a smartphone with an ingenious design. Next, Samsung also known as product innovation and design capabilities when Samsung is capable of doing well-designed and friendly products. It is because Samsung has got different awards for their innovative and well-designed products over the years. The prestigious consumer electronic show awarded Samsung for their innovation and product design 13 years in a row. This award is for the commitment of producing a environmentally friendly products and decreased greenhouse gas Amazon has been recognized worldwide. From that image of the company, they also managed to produce a friendly product that resulted for the concept of look as good as it sounds. Galaxy Buds 2 is the lightest earbuds and comfort fit they ever made, in which each earbuds comes in a fashion forward design and matching cases to fit the consumer unit days. With a widely compatible cradle design, the case keeps the earbuds safe, recharged and easily portable. While the sounds at the noise canceling with two microphones help blocking unwanted sound and comfort fit are three major aspects that Samsung cares in this Galaxy Buds 2, rather than just focusing on the look of the buds. For example, with the loop protrusion design, it can minimize wind disruption to make the audio call come in clear. In a nutshell, Samsung has their own competitive advantage when all Samsung's products meet all consumer satisfaction, in which they are not only focused on the way people view their product design, but it's more focused on the style that can solve consumer problems at the same time designing the product that look unique, style, affordable, in other words, high quality of products. Okay, we move to the last question. Amiru will answer this question. 
Strategic planning is a process in which organizational leaders determine their vision for the future as well as identify their goals and objectives for the organization. So from there, we can state that Samsung has a strategic planning once has established a rich legacy of innovation and shepherd the smartphone experience for hundreds of millions of consumers around the world. To make it more innovation of product for their next generation consumers, they have set up effective strategic planning to develop more and more in their journey. Samsung has their own strategy for the next generation customer where they start marking the beginning of the era of foldable smartphones in which it happens when Samsung unveiled the infinity flat display at the 2018 Samsung developer conference the folding mechanism of the infinity flat display will allow customers to use it as tablet as well as smartphone this concept introduced its new interface and simplifies and streamlines the user experience and gives consumers a more natural way to use their phones with refined features, high-end camera, powerful processors, and impressive display. They are no longer just flashy and designed for early adopters, rather the future smartphone technology globally. From that, new foldable smartphones from Samsung are the future of mobile accessible, durable, and packed with the innovative features. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Fleet 5G era handle technology in which this latest foldable smartphone from Samsung might feel nostalgic. However, they represent a marked evolution in smartphone innovation and design created for today users. Next, Samsung has a very strategic planning once they do not just changing how smartphone will look. However, it's changing of how the product connect to working hard to use the connectivity with 5G for the next generation, in which Samsung has more 5G patterns than any other company and was the first company to receive FCC approval for its 5G network equipment. The technology brought 5G networking to South Korea and in partnership with US carriers. Samsung have already brought the first wave of 5G to the United States. Samsung is committed in 5G consumer hands with a 5G smartphone in the first half of 2019. The end of goal of 5G is to fundamentally transform the way we make use of mobile connectivity to make it as a strategic planning. Samsung has established a next generation business team to recruit talented staff from every part of the company, including chipset, mobile device, device and network division in order to specifically focus on the challenges and opportunities of the fast approaching 5G era. Additionally, a defining goal of 5G is to introduce an entirely new paradigm of connectivity. A key focus for the service providers will be development and introduction of the revolutionary new services beyond traditional mobile industry, offering to a new set of customers. Alright, all questions from the case study have been answered by us. We hope that our lecturer will fully satisfy with our presentation and our answers. We would like to express our sincere appreciation to our lecturer, Dr. Mariam, for her guidance, inspiration, suggestion, and criticism that she had provided throughout the research and studies. Without her guidance, our assignments cannot be done properly like this. She always give us support and guide us on how to do our assignment in purpose to produce a good outcome from the research that have been studied.